Good evening, I'm here at Kelton, just outside Castle Douglas, to meet a local GP, Dr. Deborah Lindsay Swartwell, who has um, been running every day this year so far, since the 1st of January, to raise money for Marie Curie. She uh, is doing a thousand mile challenge, but she has done over the thousand miles now, and is carrying on right the way through until Hogmanay. So, um, Debs, why did you come up with the idea to to run a thousand miles for charity? Well, I was actually inspired by a friend of mine who had done a similar thing in her 40th year. Um, so I decided that in my 40th year, I would want to do something just as challenging. So that's why I thought I would run a thousand miles in the year, um, but set myself another challenge within that to run every single day this year. So I started on the 1st of January. Um, I was down at a friend's house down south and dragged myself out, hung over, and ran that first mile. <laughs> and which charity were you raising money for? So I'm raising money for Marie Curie. Um, and it took me a while to pick that charity. Um, I was pondering over which charity to choose over the first two months of the year. Kept running, kept going, um, but eventually settled on Marie Curie. Um, so many amazing charities out there but that one i thought was really worthwhile um nurses go into homes help people at the end of life support their families um, and it's a really worthwhile charity so i thought that would be the best one has the covid pandemic made things difficult for you to carry the challenge out i was really nervous um before the talks of lockdown initially because um there was rumor that you weren't allowed to exercise or go outside like what was happening in, in Spain you couldn't leave your house so I was getting a bit worried about whether I'd be able to complete the running at that point but luckily um, the decisions that were made in this country allowed me to continue to exercise so I have managed to to still get out there. <laughs> During the year whilst you've been running the there's obviously been lots of different weather how has that um, been for you? I think starting in January was probably good because I think I got a lot of the worst weather out of the way so you might recall all the storms that we had at the beginning of the year and it really was very difficult to get out in the wind and the rain um, so my miles at the beginning of the year the first few months were relatively slow but as the weather got a bit better and the days got longer it actually got a lot easier um, and then in the hot days, that was a bit harder, obviously, but days are longer, so I had more opportunity. And as the days have become short again, um, motivation began to dip slightly. Um, but that final push towards the end and just getting closer um, has really, really helped. And actually, we've been quite lucky so far this winter where it's not been as bad as it was in January and February. With you being a full-time GP and mum and busy lady in general, how have you found the time every day to manage to go running? <laughs> yeah, time has been really difficult. Um, I've just had to make it work, but I can, I probably couldn't count, because it's too many, the number of times that I've gone out at half 11 at night just to squeeze in a run. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been really, really difficult. But, um, uh, yeah, I've managed to find the time. It was a bit easier when I was um, off on annual leave, but apart from that, I've just had to find time. So I believe even though you've now done your 1,000th mile, you're still carrying on jogging every day for the rest of this year. Um, can people still donate? Absolutely, absolutely. So I did the 1,000th mile last night, I'm pleased to say. So last night was the 22nd. Um, so that was great, but I need to continue to the end of the year. So I will still be running every single day right to the end of the year. I will post a link and I would love it if people could click on the link and donate. Even a small amount can make such a difference. And finally, um, what will your next challenge be? <laughs> I'm not going to run. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I've really struggled with injury. Um, I've seen physio and had some treatment and I'm planning to have January off. Um, I have booked to do um, a half marathon in London in April, so that's good. I apply to do London Marathon every year. I've not been lucky yet, but maybe this will be my year. I'll have to wait and see, um, but I am not quite sure. Um, I will go back to the drawing board on that one, and I'm sure I'll keep you all updated. Well, it sounds like you're going to be busy anyway. Thank you very much, and have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too.